I'm Noelle Christina. Welcome to Reconnect Natural Healing. Are you new in yoga? If yes, this class is perfect for you. We are gonna do a little bit of introduction to the poses that most of the classes hold on and also how to get in and out of the poses. So get your things together, make me up your yoga mat, but if you don't have a yoga mat, no big deal. You can do it on the floor, you can do it on the rug, doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you have a body and I believe you do. So let's go. Yoga is a word in Sanskrit that means union. Union of the physical body, the mental body, the energy body, the emotional body, the intellectual body, and the spiritual body. Yoga is a word in Sanskrit that means union, union of all the bodies we have, the koshas, the spiritual body, the mental, the emotional, the physical, and the energetic body. We use asana, the yoga poses, to bring all these bodies together in balance. Are you ready for that? We're starting our practice today is standing up in Tadasana, Tadasana is the mountain pose where we are standing up, but not like we do on day-to-day -day life, all right? We are standing up with your feet right below your hips, knees slightly bent, super soft, your pelvis is tucked in, your belly button is also inside, your shoulder is up, back, and down, allowing your chest to be opened, your arms are resting by the side with the palms facing forward. And your head is slightly towards your chest to relax the cervical. So now in the mountain pose, if you feel comfortable, close your eyes and find your breath. Notice the inhalations and the exhalations. Notice which part of your body it's moving. Just feel your body present here and now. You are now the one that observes. Let's start observing the physical body, the position that you are, your mental body, the thoughts that rush in your mind, the emotional body, the emotions presence, the energy body, how is your energy right now, the intellectual body, and the spiritual body. You are the one that notice all of it all within you and all on the outside. Just noticing. And letting your breath happen naturally. Bring your own personal intention for this practice, the reason why you're here and the reason why you're practicing. That is your sankalpa, your intention. So allow yourself to move with that intention throughout the practice. Slowly open your eyes, bring your hands on your hips, right leg open to the right side with your toes facing forward and your left leg, you can take a small step back with the outside of your left foot parallel with the edge of your yoga mat. Imagine there is a line between your right heel and the middle of your left foot. Slightly start bending your right leg. There's no need to go too low. Remember, we are new here. So bend slightly your right leg, knee above the ankle and there is a gentle external rotation happening within your thighs 
So your right knee go towards the middle and the pinky. Once you have your legs like that, hands are still in the hips, turn your pelvis towards me and open your arms parallel to the floor. Look to the middle finger of your right hand, shoulders away from your ears, and make sure that your right and left arm are in the same line. This is the warrior two pose. Press equally to all the corners of both feet, using all the toes, allowing your back leg, the left leg be straight, pressing even stronger on the outside of the left foot. Here, breathe in and out, holding the pose, receiving all the benefits of this pose. Take a long deep breath in, open your mouth side out, <sighs> inhale in, open your mouth side out, <sighs> One more time, inhale in, open your mouth and side out. <sighs> Drop the left hand towards the left leg, flip the right palm up and come over. So there's a small back bend happening and your left hand is slide gently down your left leg. Breathe here. This is the peaceful warrior pose. Look it up towards your right hand, shoulders away from your ears, and allow the bend to happen from your abdomen and your spine. Inhale and exhale. Holding peaceful warrior. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now rest your right arm on top of your right thigh. Look it up to the sky. Left hand go all the way up. Extended side angle. The legs doesn't change and you still Pressing firm through your legs, shoulders always away from the ears. Inhale and exhale. Always keeping your belly button towards your spine, tailbone longer and tucked in. If it's too much on your neck, you can look it down towards your feet. Now keep your body exactly as it is. Just turn your head down to look to your right big toe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, look back towards your left hand. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Take long and deep breaths. Find peaceful warrior again, where your right hand go up. There is a back bend in your spine. Left arm rests on the left leg. Inhale, warrior two again. Bring your hands in the hips. Turn your right toes forward towards me and stay with your legs open. Move your hip from side to side. Nice. So now move your toes, your left toes forward, bend your left leg. You're starting with warrior two. Now you already know the name and you already know the alignment. So again, doesn't need to be too down deep. You're starting here and the beginning is important. No need to rush. All right. So left leg bend, left knee towards the middle toe and towards 
the pinky. Extend your arms parallel to the floor. Remember, your pelvis and your torso is towards me. And you look towards your middle left finger. Try your best to keep a line between both of your arms. Inhale and exhale here. Press firm on the outside of your right foot. And inhale and exhale. Shoulders away from the ears, belly button in, pelvis longer. Meditate in the toes. And if your thoughts start rushing too much, guide your own breath in your mind. I am inhaling. I am exhaling. I am inhaling. I am exhaling. And you can also guide what you do. Like I am doing what you do. My left leg is in this position. Drop the right hand towards the right leg. Flip over the left hand up. Peaceful warrior. Allow the left side of your body to open, creating more space for all the organs. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Breathe. Stay in the pose. Bend your left arm, rest on top of the left thighs. Look up, right arm all the way up, extended side angle. The left hand is with the palm facing up. The legs did not change, just your torso. But make sure that you're not dropping your upper body towards the left leg. Make sure that your core and your spine is helping to hold you and not just your arm giving your upper body support. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Drop the right arm back Flip to Peaceful Warrior. Inhale, come back to Warrior Two. Hands on the hips. Turn your left toesies towards me and rotate your hips to one direction and the other direction. Nice, stay in the center. Now slightly turn your toes to the outside and bring your legs a little bit closer. We are gonna squat down to Malasana or Yogi Squat. I personally like to do that with my hands in prayer and slowly start coming down. You can stay a little high here or you can go all the way down. If this is too much for you, if your heels doesn't touch the floor, I invite you to stay higher today, okay? Respect your body, respect where you are. Extremely important to keep moving forward, all right? Nice. Now, make your way to the floor and cross your legs on an easy seat position. Bring your hands on top of your knees, close your eyes, open your chest, sending your shoulder back. Your spine should be straight. And start softening all the muscles of your face. Allow your breath to happen naturally. The reason why we practice the asanas is to move the energy in our body. That way we can sit still in meditation. That way we can have a healthy and fit body, a 
healthy and fit mind, a healthy relationship with our emotions. That way we can have a healthy relationship with our intellect mind so we learn things easy. And that way we create a better relationship with ourselves, with our body energy. And we can made and we can make better choices throughout our life. Allow yourself to remember the intention you set up at the beginning. Bring your hands in prayer and imagine that you have that intention between your hands. Breathe in and out with that intention. Bow down to your heart in gratitude. Take this moment to be grateful for this practice for your body, for your mind, for your soul, for your emotions and the ability of feel, feeling. Be free, be true, be real, be you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you feel the joy of yoga, the wisdom of yoga. And I'll see you soon on our next practice. Bye-bye.